A pleasant afternoon to everyone. I hope that all are safe and healthy. For this afternoon, we will be oriented with the Regional Memorandum 489 Series of 2021, which is a call for research proposals to be funded by the Basic Education Research Fund BIRF for fiscal year 2021. Okay, please be guided with the content of this regional memorandum, especially the new proponents for BIRF research, for we have instructions for the submissions of the proposal. In accordance with DepEd Order Number 16, Series of 2017, Research Management Guidelines, this office, through the Policy Planning and Research Division, will be accepting research proposals to be funded by the Basic Education Research Fund starting August 17 to September 30, 2021. However, the Congressional District Research Committee deadline was set on September 14, 2021 because the Congressional District Research Committee evaluation will be on September 15 to 19, 2021. The research topic shall be aligned with the national and, re and regional research agenda. Research proposals which are not anchored on this agenda will be automatically disregarded. So what are this uh, research agenda? So we have the teaching and learning, child protection, governance, human resource development, DRRM, inclusive education, gender and development. The research proponent or proponents shall submit a complete research proposal following the prescribed outline or format attached in this memorandum together with the following documentary requirements to the school's division office for evaluation. Here are the requirements or the attachments. Application form with endorsement of immediate supervisor, declaration of anti-plagiarism form, declaration of absence of conflict of interest form, research instrument or tool, validity and reliability certification of research instrument, and data privacy consent form. All forms and guidelines can be downloaded from the Google Drive using the access link uh, presented on the HTTPS bit.ly birth forms 2021. So we have the submission in the Congressional District. So the proponents folder can be an act for the action research. The folder name should be AR, then the surname, first name, middle initial, and the research title keywords. So the folder should be composed of two, two files, the attachment files and the research proposal file. So for the attachment files, it should be in a scanned copy, but it will be placed in a Word. You should only have one file for the attachment and should be properly labeled. For the research proposal file, it should be in a one word, in Word copy with work plan timeline of liquidation report submission, which is 30 days upon the release of the fund. The file name for the action research is action research, or rather AR, surname, first name, middle initial, and the title keywords. For the basic research, we have the attachment files as well. The scanned copy in Word one should be in one file and properly labeled. The research proposal file, which will be in Word copy with work plan, Timeline of liquidation report submission, which is 30 days upon the release of the fund. For basic research, the file name should be BR, surname, first name, middle initial, with the title keywords. 
research proposals that have passed the evaluation of the Congressional District Research Committee, at least 70% will be endorsed to the Division of Iloilo Research Committee. Then after that, if it had passed the evaluation of the Division of Iloilo Research Committee, it will be forwarded to the Regional Research Committee. So we have here the, the basic research proposal template as well as the action research template, but it will be discussed thoroughly by Sir Bendayon. So we have the different annexes for the list of documentary requirements. First, we have the research proposal application form and endorsement of immediate supervisor. So we have part A, research information. For the research information, we have the research title. So then you have your short description of the research study. Then you are going to check for the research category. It can either be national, region, school division, district, or school. Then check only one if it is action research or basic research. Then for the research agenda, so you have your, your teaching and learning. Identify if your research proposal is under teaching and learning, child protection, human resource development, and governance. Then you can come up also with cross-cutting themes like DRRM, gender and development, inclusive education, and others. So others, please specify. You're going to note also the source of your research agenda, if it is national or regional, as well as the topic. For the fund source, you write birth because we are actually, um, we will be submitting this proposal for birth funding. Then you write the amount here. The amount should be consistent on the amount that had been reflect that will be reflected on your cost estimates. So we, you have the amount birth, the amount as well as the total. So we have here the sample. So you have your research title, the brief description, then so in my case we have here the problem-based learning on creative thinking and decision-making skills in biology. So there is a short description here about the aim of the study or what's the study all about. Then it's the research category is school and it is an action research. Then the research agenda is about teaching and learning. Then the research agenda topic with uh, re regional research agenda. So that's the, my source and the topic is under pedagogical approaches or the teaching learning. Then we have the birth as the fund source. Then you have the amount here as well as the total amount. Part B of the application form, we have the proponents or proponents information. So we have three maximum of three proponents per study and one study only per year should be submitted. Note that previous researchers with unfinished study or research will not be accepted or recommended for further evaluation by the Regional Research Committee and the TWC. So we first have the lead proponent for, or we have this for individual proponent. Okay, so last name, first name, middle name, the birth date, should be in month, day, year, the sex, position or designation, then can rejoin the vision school, whichever is applicable, the contact number one, contact number two, email address, then you have the educational attainment of the proponent, 
then the title of the thesis or related research project. Then the signature of the proponent. Don't forget your signature in the application form. Then after your signature, we have the immediate supervisor confirm. Me. So stated here, let your immediate supervisor sign your application form. Then the designation or position of the immediate supervisor as well as the date signed. Please take note that when, uh, when we are have teachers, for teachers and master teachers, your immediate supervisor will be your school head or principal. For the principal, the immediate supervisor should be the, the PSDS or the district supervisor. Then if you're more than, if there is more than one proponent, you're having proponents information for, we have the second, Okay, so we have here the sample for, for, for the lead proponent, or we have individual proponent. For the, if you have more than one proponent, so you have the last name for the proponent to the same form, then we have another form for proponent three. So in the application form, we have only one part A, but if there are three propon proponents in a study, so you will have individual or having three forms for the proponents. The second, we have the declaration of anti-plagiarism. So in the declaration of anti-plagiarism, so you have I, then you state your name there, then you sign there as proponent one, printed name, then the signature, then the date signed. So if there are three proponents, so can have we, then all proponents, two or three proponents, then you sign also here, okay? So you can enumerate also all the names of the proponents in, in the blank here, and number one. The third, we have Annex 3, Declaration of Absence of Conflict of Interest. So, same with that of the anti-plagiarism. So, you have I, then state your name, understand, or you can have the we. So, we have proponent 1, printed name, signature, then date, signed. Okay? Same with proponent 2 and 3. The next uh, requirement, we have the certificate of validation and reliability of the research instrument. So this is to certify that the name of proponents or proponent of a state, um, the school, has undergone validation and pilot testing of the researcher made instrument for his or her action or basic research entitled, specify the title of the research. Then for, furthermore, the validity of the instrument was analyzed using the statistical package for social sciences version, right, the version of your SPSS, with an acceptable reliability coefficient of blank. So given this blank day of blank 2002 at the where the the validator or the place of the validator so it's signature over printed name of the validator for the certificate of validation and reliability of your research instrument next to that we have a data privacy consent form so I, then you state your name, or you can come up with the we and the, all the three proponents. So printed name, signature, and the date signed. So same at the top on the, the blank, you can also enumerate the name of the proponents there. Okay, so that's all. Thank you.